we're being asked to find the equations of the tangent lines to the graph of f of x equals x cubed that are parallel to this line. So let's go through it, solution. The key here is that parallel lines have the same slope. So parallel lines have the same slope. Now since our tangent lines will be parallel to this line and this line has a slope of 12, our tangent lines will have a slope of 12. So our tangent lines, because they are parallel to this line here, will have a slope of 12. We'll have slope m equal to 12. So we have a slope. The only thing necessary to find the tangent line now is to find a point. So we need to use uh, some calculus to do that. So recall that the derivative of f at x is the slope of the tangent line at x. In this case, it's just 3x squared. So this is the slope of the tangent line. at x, right? But we know that the slope of our tangent lines is 12. So we can set 3x squared equal to 12. Dividing both sides by 3, that gives us x squared equals 4. And then taking the square root, we get two answers. We get x equals plus or minus 2. So now that we have the x values, we just need to find the y values. So let's go ahead and do that. So we write down f of x again, so you can see it. Okay, so first the case when x is equal to 2. So when x is equal to 2, the y value is going to be f of 2, which is 2 cubed, which is 8. So our point for our first tangent line will be 2 comma 8. And now we can use the point slope form of a line. So y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. y1 is 8, so we get y minus 8. Our slope was 12, so we end up with 12 times x minus 2, because x1 is 2, and y1 is 8. So y minus 8 is equal to 12x, distribute the 12, minus 24, Adding 8 to both sides gives us y equals 12x minus 16. So there is our first tangent line. Now let's look at the case when x is equal to negative 2. So when x is equal to negative 2, well, we can find the y-coordinate by evaluating f at 2, at negative 2. So we get negative 2 cubed, which is negative 8. So the point in this case is negative 2 comma negative 8. To finish, we'll use the point slope form of a line. So y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So y minus, well here, y1 is negative 8 and x1 is negative 2. So minus and minus is a plus, and then m is still 12. And then likewise here we get two negatives, so we get plus 2. So y plus 8 is equal to 12x plus 24 by distributing to 12. And y finally is equal to 12x plus 16. And that's our other tangent line. So I kind of rushed through that really quickly uh, so that the video you know, doesn't take 15 minutes. Um, but, but I hope this helps. And I think the point of a problem like this is you have to think. If you think carefully, um, you can work through it. I hope this helps.